Welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. Hopefully this is going to be the last video in my $50 canoe series. Now, if you haven't seen any of that, I picked up a canoe locally. Uh, it was probably about 50 years old and it was beat to trash. Uh, it was a lot worse when I got it home. It was actually held together with nuts and bolts. So I stripped it all down, kind of assessed the situation. And I used a lot of different products to get it back on the water. And then once I got it floating again, I put a hole in it. And I repaired that hole with items that you would have with you in an emergency on a canoe trip. So I used duct tape, I used Flex Seal, I used the Purpose Made Patch Kit from Patch and Repair. But I'm all done with that. I want to fix it now so I can take this boat out on a trip. This product was sent to me by NRS. This is an aluminum boat repair kit. It's time to stop just patching and we'll do a real repair job. If this is the kind of thing you like, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment in the comment box and ring the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Burning River Bushcraft. I also teach outdoor classes at OutdoorCore.com. So the important thing with this kit is this is not designed just to put it in your bag and pull it out when you poke a hole in your boat in the middle of nowhere. This is not for that. This is for when you limp that boat home and you want to make it so you can still use it again and you don't have to scrap it. So this kit is really designed to fix leaky patches or rivets. Uh, this is not really a kit that's designed to fix a hole in the boat. So I do have some holes. I'm not sure on the consistency of this. I may need to pick up a fiberglass patch to go over this and then cover it with this product. So this kit was sent to me by NRS and you can find it at the NRS website. But it's actually made by West Systems Epoxy. And... They have directions inside the package, as well as a two-part epoxy. I've got a couple of mixing sticks. I've got rubber gloves, and then I've got two syringes. So the set time on this is about 45 minutes, and it's kind of hot today, so it might set a little bit faster. So where the crack is, the epoxy is thick enough that it kind of bridges over it. And one of the holes, I've got a small piece of Aluma weld that's stuck pretty good and it's below the surface. And that seems to be gathering the epoxy and it's just holding it for me. The other hole, the Aluma weld just didn't set as well. And when I was grinding it, it came out in a piece. So that one, the epoxy just keeps falling through and I'm getting a small depression. Now I look under the canoe and I don't see anything dripping down. So it's kind of gathered in there and hopefully it fills in. So I'm going to let this sit for a couple hours. I'm going to check it later this evening. The epoxy is definitely not going to be cured by then, but hopefully my skim coat on the hole that's leaking through is caught well enough where I can apply a second batch of epoxy. Here's these holes after, after a little bit and there's a skim here. It's depressed a little bit. But that does not go through anymore. And here's the crack. Again, I can feel that depression, but that does not pass all the way through. So I just got a small batch here, and I'm going to just fill those, those holes in now that it's got kind of a first initial layer. I'm going to build them all up and kind of catch the radius of the surface of the canoe. So that's a good start. I've got the holes filled with that epoxy. 
and the crack as well and that is without me using any of the fiberglass cloth to cover it I didn't really think it was that bad now I've got some other areas to dress inside and that's more structural uh, I did fill it with the Aluma weld I'm probably going to go back over it again with that epoxy and just seal it up as solid as possible it's been a couple days since I applied that epoxy to the aluminum canoe here and it did kind of dip in in certain areas so this runs and stuff I'm just going to clean this up with a sander and you can see through it and this is just a slight depression I can just barely feel that so I had a small hole here and this one filled in perfectly and above it this was a little worse and this one actually the epoxy was dripping into it so I had to keep sliding the epoxy as it was drying and right now it does not go all the way through so that's going to hold as I put more epoxy in and try to try to just smooth the surface over a little bit. So once I get the outside like I want it, before I finish it, I'm going to go ahead and flip the canoe over and we're going to apply a second coat of epoxy on the inside of those same trouble areas. So the exterior of this canoe is pretty much done. Everything that's low is filled and is at least high now. And I'll come back with a sander and clean up some of the drips and clean up the, the areas that are a little bit heavier and try to level this out. I've still got dents and I'm just not going to spend the time chasing those dents and trying to get them out. I'm going to flip the canoe over now and any spot that was hollowed out on the outside, I'm going to hit it on the inside as well. So we're going to have a nice epoxy sandwich between this brittle aluminum. So any little holes I've got in the Aluma well that I use to fill some of those cracks, I'm just covering it with epoxy. And this might take a couple times. A lot of the deeper cracks, it's just kind of filling in. So generally what I do as this stuff starts to set up, I just mound it around a little bit and then eventually it'll settle into the holes. So the epoxy is all cured and I've done multiple coats and each time I tried to build it up a little bit more. So it's kind of goopy in spots, it's kind of runny and I'm going to blend it down. Uh, but before I spend the time to make it look nice, I got to make sure that I fixed all the leaks. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this thing for a little spin on the water. Now I thought this was very nice of NRS to send me the aluminum boat repair kit, but maybe they just wanted me to test out their vest on camera. Maybe they just had no faith in me to fix a boat and we would be out here swimming away with a vest on. So that canoe is dry as a bone inside and I cannot be happier. So tomorrow I'm going to come out here with all my safety gear and I'm just going to blend that epoxy down, knock off the high spots, feather the edges down to where you can hardly see that it's there at all. And then we're finally going to be done with our $50 canoe project.
So this is a sanding disc on this four and a half inch angle grinder. And if you don't use one of these a lot, you could do a lot of damage. You could take off all that epoxy that you put on your boat really fast. You could take off bare metal really fast with this. So I'm comfortable enough with it where I could blend it in. If you're not, those drips are not gonna hurt anything. But if you use that grinder and dig a hole through the side of your boat, you're right back to square one and you're gonna have to pick up another aluminum boat repair kit. So one thing I did not show when I went over the contents of this box is there's a small little tub here and this is adhesive filler. And I didn't know what this was and I really didn't quite understand it in the direction, so I just didn't use it. And the first batch you can see is a little bit different color and a little bit different consistency than the subsequent batches that I applied. That's because this adhesive filler is kind of a thickener. So this is a thickener and it kind of makes the epoxy stronger. I wasn't quite sure what it did, so I did not use it initially. When I experimented with it and tried it, that's exactly what it does. It bulks that epoxy up and in my case, it filled in a whole lot better. So if your canoe looked like mine and you don't quite know what to do, I suggest you just scrap it, recycle it, start over. But if you want to get it back going again, this aluminum boat repair kit will do the job and you can pick this up at NRS. So you have to keep in mind what this kit is designed for. And this is just for fixing a small patch or if you have an aluminum boat that's in good shape and it happened has a leak along one of the seams. My boat was in completely different shape. My boat looked like it had bounced off every rock of a hundred mile river and it still worked. It took several applications and I was able to get it done. So if you just have a normal leak, this kit is gonna work out great for you. All right, till next time, this has been Jamie Box with Burning River Bushcraft. See you soon.